In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a comic in PowerPoint for Creative by Media R84. So first things first, software you need is PowerPoint and a web browser. Now you don't have to use PowerPoint, I'm sure you could use Word, Publisher, very similar things, but I'm just going to use PowerPoint for the example because I think it works best out of those kind, kinds of software. Now, you should have already planned your comic, you should have an idea of what you want to do or what kind of story you want to tell. Now, there's lots of visual styles you can try. However, if you're not very good at drawing, or you can use a computer very well in terms of using Photoshop or Illustrator, there's lots of different things we could do. So you could completely hand draw it yourself, scan them into the computer and create your comic that way. You could also take photos in school, in your classroom, and create a story using photographs, or you could get some vector images or draw some vector images and create yourself a nice little cartoon that way as well, a nice little comic. Once you've chosen your visual style, you then go to gather your assets of photos. So you can just use your phone or camera, take some pictures. If you want to do a hand-drawn kind of style, you can um, draw your assets and scan them into the computer. And if you want to use vector art, you can draw them yourself or use a stock images site such as Storyboard that, or you could use um, like free pick or something to get some vectors from there. Now a few websites that you can use if you need to get some assets. One for high quality, high resolution photos, you could use Unsplash. So let's say you want to combine some of these techniques and you want to have cartoon characters in a sort of a real world situation. So you could say like search for street. And you can find a picture of a street you might like. So you can take these assets. All you need to do on this website is credit the author. So you can add this to your sources table and say who it was made by, and then you can use it as much as you want really. As long as you're not making profit, this website's fairly good. So I use it for quite a lot of my images as well. Now, if you want to get some vector art or some characters, you can use this website that I'm clicking here called FreePick. Now, you do have to pay for some things, but there's quite a lot as well that, again, as long as you um, credit the author, you can use. So say I want to get some cartoon characters for a boy. Search for boy and go to my filters and I can search for free vectors. Search again and you can see I've got all these different collections of vector art I could use. Now what's good about some of these is that this one here for example has got a cartoon man with loads of different facial expressions, all of his arms and things like that. So you could either use this and trace them to make your own character or you could actually just full on use this character for your own. So you can just download it and then edit it in some form of editing software. So if I download that, now quite often when you get these, they will come in EPS format, which means you need to use Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator to edit these. Otherwise, what you could do is you could take these pictures, let me go into my PowerPoint, and I could paste it in crop what I needed. Now, as I've said, this is not a high mark example. You're not going to get top marks for doing this. Like that. And you could then picture format, move the background like that. And get some of that. So obviously there, it's not where it's 100% the best way. So what we probably have to go, about, go ahead and do is keep trying um, to move the background until we get what we want. Now one thing we can do when we compress our images is if you, if you um, go to compress pictures and you can go to delete cropped areas of pictures like that, you then can crop the background a little bit easier so you can mark areas that you want to keep. So I want to keep that, I want to keep your shoes, keep your hand, his fingers and stuff, and his shoe. like that and you see it's not the best but I've got a nice character I could use then okay so we can use these websites to get some of our assets from so first things first what you need to do is create your PowerPoint so I'm going to go to control n so I'm going to make a new one and then I'm going to make my comic like more portrait than um than landscape now it doesn't matter how you set yours out the comic's a comic and I'm only going to be doing one page for my comic whereas you'll probably want to be doing more than one as it's a multi-page comic. I'm going to go to design and I'm going to go to slide size. I'm going to custom slide size 
I'm just going to switch to portrait there and then A4 paper and press OK. And you know I've got my A4 portrait page nice and easy. Now the first thing you want to do is create background colours. I usually do with a shape so I'll just take a square and draw on there and pick my background colour so I'm just going to make it black. For now I'll just change it later. Now you should have designed how you want your panels to be laid out. Now, the more interesting pa panels you have and the more techniques you use, the more marks you get. However, we're using PowerPoint, there are so many things we can do. So, first things first, I'm gonna design my panels. So I want a nice big box. That's gonna be where my title's gonna go, my comic. Just like that. And then next what you need to do is start thinking about how you want your panels to look. So you might start off with a nice big can uh, panel there for like an establishing shot talking about your comic perhaps. Then you might have, in fact we'll start off with a square actually. We'll have a rectangle at the bottom. We're going to have a couple of squares here. Now don't worry too much about just designing this, how it looks. Because what we're going to do is we're going to use the sizing correctly to make sure it's nice and accurate. And then I think I might have like a circle for my panels like that, something like that. So something in. So once we've got our sizes, we can then start figuring out how we want to lay it out. So there's some text in there, so I'm just going to put in a title of the comic. Then I've got panel one here. Now if I copy and paste this, you see that it's a little bit too... Um, it's not far off actually, I think we've based it there, actually looks, looks about right actually, it's not too bad. But if you want to have things to be a little bit more specific, you can go to here, we can make sure our aspect ratio is not locked, and we might say we want to be 7 by 8, and do 7 by 8, just to make sure we've got them nice and exactly the same size, and we can make sure they're in exactly the same place. Now check the width of this one, the width is 17, so I'm going to put it to 18, so it's nice and easy for us to use. And then make sure this is the same width as well, don't worry about the height, just make sure that we're the same and we're all lined up. Now you've got these little lines, these little red lines, let us know where our positions are on our screen. Looks a little like a face at the moment. So now we've got our idea of how we want things to look. We can then go and grab our assets. So I've got a bunch here now. As I said before, these are just pictures. I've no meaning to them. I've just got them off the internet. Top on splash. So I'll take my picture here. And place it where I want it to place. Now, you're going to have to crop these. You're going to have to change these slightly to make them fit. So I've got my character there in the right place that doesn't look too bad now what you want to do is maybe you might want to add some form of border or something on it so you can just go simple with a, a little shape outline like that and maybe be a colour of some sort so you might have it like that for your panels it's entirely up to you you can even use some of these presets on picture format and take a look which one you think is more appropriate for example, the circle one, that's going to be quite useful for us to put for this one here. Now what we can also do is add some artistic effects. So that's sort of a bit more of an effect to make it look a little bit better. Now, um, there's a lot of comics that use this sort of style, so that's what I'm going to go with, where it sort of um, fades out the picture a little bit, removes some of the detail, makes it look a little bit more cartoony. So when that applies, being a little bit slow, it looks like different. We've actually changed something on our comic like that. We then take our next couple of images. So we're going to have this guy. And then I want this picture next. Put that on there as well. So I'm just going to make them nice and small so I can use them. So we might be talking about our two new characters. Make it 
bit slight within her. And what we do, we crop the bottom off because I don't need that. Now, you do want to be consistent. So, what other body you put on this one? You're going to put on this one as well. Like that. Then, for this one, I'm going to have that circle effect, so I'm going to click here. Now it is important that you don't mess with the aspect ratio too much, but I'm doing this relatively quickly. Put that in there, and then sometimes you have these effects and things you might want to take the picture effect, you might want to take that shadow that I've got and just get rid of that so it's not going to interfere with another panel. And I'm going to get my final picture, which is this one here. Again, I'm going to be cropping it because I don't need all that. Add my border on it again. And then we've got our panels. So there's not a lot going on there, but we've got our panels. So the next one might thing we might want to do is fill the shape in the correct shade or grey. I'm gonna of things. I'm going to go with Comic Sans. I'm not a big fan of it. There are some better fonts, uh, which I'll show you in a moment. Pick your, pick your font size and stuff. I mean, you might want to pick like a more dramatic font, depending on the theme of your um, comic itself. And then we can go ahead and add some shapes. So I'm going to go get, we'll go for a speech bubble first. So take a speech bubble. Again, make sure it's the same. Want you want to pick maybe like one or two fonts. You don't necessarily have to have uh, the same one all the way through, but I wouldn't be changing them all the time. Make it white. I'm going to add a black outline, and then size so it how I want, like that. And then I might have a thought bubble for the guy with the beard. So. Make a thought bubble there. What's good about the format painter is that you don't have to keep doing any settings again, so I'm gonna do that there. Might have another thought for this guy. And I might add in something like a call out of some sort. So I might put something like, um, again, I'm going to use the Format Painter again, but I am going to change this one. I might use some uh, animated paint words, so like bang or whoosh, something like that in there. Something like that looks quite good. And then you can add in even things like a text box, so you might put a text box at the top right of a panel like this. Again, I'm going to Format Painter so it's nice and same. You see there, I've not done particularly much technical aspect in there, I've not really put much effort in, and I think that looks actually relatively like a comic. Now obviously your pictures should make more sense, because you can take pictures of you and your friends, whatever the topic is for the comic, um, and you have more of a story, but the idea is that we can take the pictures, we can add a little effect on, so I can put that effect on these pictures now. Again, so add something, add some more of these artistic effects. So that's that one there. Now I do apologise for my screen being a little bit laggy. I think because the pictures are quite high quality for one splash, it makes it the PowerPoint through a little bit. But you should be able to see that looks very cartoony. It looks professional, I think and it's not a lot of effort. You can make a couple of pages comic, it can be really quick, and you can put it together really, really well. So I've got my text in there, I've got a range of different types of communication, I've got different panel shapes. Admittedly, you'd probably want more than just squares and circles, you have to experiment a little bit, and it tells my story, you can follow it really easily. Now the idea is you just need to make sure when you frame your photos and take your photos, you're establishing those focal points 
so the um, audience is drawn to the correct parts of each panel. I mean, the focal point of the actual page itself is probably more here, because it's got a bang on that. So I would make sure that if you're going to do something like that, your picture reflects that. But overall, it's not a bad comic. It's not been very difficult to create, and it's nice and easy. And hopefully that helps, and you can go ahead and create a comic, and it's a reasonable quality, and you can stop stressing. So please, if you enjoyed it, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.